The city of Rochester is discussing the future of marijuana sales starting in 2025. City Council is considering several different options of how many and where cannabis stores will be allowed to open up for business. KIMT News 3's Brandon Code has been following this story. He joins us live now from Northwest Rochester in one of the many spots cannabis businesses could set up shop. So Brandon, first, how many marijuana stores does City Council want to welcome into the Med City? Yeah, Cammy. so right now I'm standing in one of the hundreds of spots where a cannabis business could open the doors here. And so, yeah, I'm standing next to West Circle Drive Northwest. And yeah, right on my left here is that Five West restaurant. But yeah, everything you're seeing over here is an area where a business could open their doors at. And so to answer your question, Cammy, City Council, they had a study session earlier today and they went over a few options, right? So they're looking at 10 businesses all the way to 20 or more, but most city council members are preferring the 10 option as of now. So take a look at your screen here, and what you're looking at here is a map of where businesses that sell cannabis can set up shop. The blue is where they could open their doors. Most of the options are sitting in Northwest and Southeast and West Rochester. Only a few options are available inside downtown. City council could choose up to 20 or more businesses, but most members are preferring only 10. That's because they want to start conservative, and if the city is demanding more, it could increase that limit. The state law says at least 10 can cannabis businesses need to open in city limits. Councilmember Norman Wall says going with the minimum would avoid overwhelming law enforcement, while Councilmember Molly Dennis says the city staff's recommendation of 14 would meet the city's growth with Mayo Clinic's $5 billion expansion plan is just for as few as possible so that we mitigate the harm that I really believe we uh, will be doing to a certain percentage of uh, the people uh, for whom uh, this will not work well. We are going to be have, have exponential growth and I would hate to say, say, you know, looking down the years down the line and say, oh, we didn't have enough licensures. Now, Cammie, here's the reason why city staff is recommending that 14 limit. This is because Olmstead County would actually volunteer their services to handle registrations and hand out licenses if that number is below 15, which means this would save the city a bunch of costs coming down the line. In Rochester, Brandon Coat, KIMT News 3. All right, and this is a bit of a developing story. We'll continue to cover it. City Council will vote on an exact limit of cannabis businesses at a meeting later this year.